As we gather together this morning for our Morning Moments uh, podcast and Life in Focus time together, we we celebrate today the 600th episode of our devotion time. 600 times now we have gotten together with the Word of God uh, through prayer, praying for one another, and just spending a little time with Jesus and a little time with each other uh, before we get our day started. And you know, when we started this uh, devotion time in June of 2020, it was kind of an answer to the pandemic and things that were going on in the world. I saw it as a, a media or as a means to try to keep you know, the church family close, keep us connected. Uh, little did I know that over time that was spread uh, beyond the Sunrise Chapel family and then to the rest of uh, other parts of the country and now into other countries around the world, which has been a true blessing. It really has, and it's it's all been because of the Lord and, and what He can do. But as uh, the time progressed and we, we got back to a sense of normalcy, I began to really seek the Lord about whether or not to continue their devotions uh, in our time together because I feel like, you know, maybe they've served their purpose. And in through that prayer time and, and spending time with the Lord, I really began to feel the Holy Spirit begin to tell me, are the people not still sick? And I really didn't understand that at the moment, but I, I began to continue to pray over the devotions. And, and the Lord said, spiritually, we still need the Word of God every single day because all of us are dealing with some kind of sickness, spiritual, em- emotional, mental, physical types of sickness. But we are all uh, in this world. We all have to battle sin uh, in one form or another, and we all need that Savior to tell us how to navigate uh, through our journey in life. So the Lord took me to Mark chapter 2 and verse 17 this morning when he was eating with publicans and sinners uh, as the Pharisees was was uh, kind of watching this. And he perceived it and he overheard them kind of talking about why in the world is Jesus sitting with these people and eating with these people. And Jesus answered in verse number 17. He said, when Jesus heard it, he said unto them, they that are whole have no need of a physician, but they that are sick. So I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And that's what we do here with these devotions. We just call on the great physician each and every day to help us through our struggles in life, whether that be worry and anxiety and fear, whether you're going through doubts and depression, whether you're going through marriage uh, situations, financial problems, whether you're uh, seeking a decision about a new job or whether you're uh, struggling with your with your children and, and, and some situations that they're going through, whatever uh, it is, God always has the answer in his word. And I, I thought about that word physician today and why we call Jesus Christ the great physician. And, you know, I, I thought about, you know, when we go to a doctor, you know, if something's wrong with us, we get up and we don't feel well. We know there's something wrong, but we don't know quite what it is. First thing we do is make an appointment and go to the doctor. Now watch this because this is important. When you go into the doctor's office, you sit there and you wait on him or her. And when they come in, uh, they have your file. They have your chart. They know everything that, that has gone on with your, your physical health. They look at that chart and then they ask you what seems to be the problem. Now, they can't do anything about your situation unless you tell them what's going on. And once you begin to tell them what's going on, you have to be very honest about what's going on if you want the proper diagnosis. Now, once that doctor hears what the problem is, reviews your chart and all the past history, then that doctor's going to make a diagnosis, maybe even prescribe something uh, for you to take. And in the process, what you're doing is you're trusting that doctor to tell you what it's going to take for you to get well. You don't ask him for his degrees. You don't ask him for uh, their diplomas. You don't ask him for uh, any references of, of how they've done in the past. You just take their word that they know what they're doing. But when it comes to Jesus, he has a 100% success rate. He comes from the best school there is, eternity. He knows what he's doing. He's healed 
throughout the generations all kind of problems, all kind of issues. He's brought everybody through their struggles that called upon him, was honest before him, and and took the advice that he gave for them to get well. He usually prescribes the same thing for all of us, the blood of Jesus Christ, the Word of God, and prayer. Those three things will always get us through any struggle, any situation that we have in our lives. So when we look at the Word of God today and we think about the great physician, we also ought to know this, that whatever we're going through, He already knows. He has our file. He has our chart. And He knows what our history is. And yet He still comes when we call. And He still wants to heal us and make us whole. So as long as there's a word to say, we will keep saying it through the Word of God, as He gives us utterance through the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to thank each and every one of you this morning for tuning in. Maybe you've, maybe you've listened to all 600. Maybe this is your first one. But I want to thank you for tuning in every day, Monday through Friday. I usually launch these at 6 a.m. You may listen to them a little later or a little uh, different times during the day or during the week. But I want to thank you for supporting morning moments with Jesus and our devotions as we move into a life and focus type segment where a session where we're really looking at trying our best this year to just keep focused on what's important and that's the word of God and the faithfulness of God through his son Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit we shall overcome anything that comes against us this year I speak that blessing over you today be safe Be strong and be blessed in Lord's will. We'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, as always, make sure you keep your life in focus and spend your morning moments with Jesus.